Okay guys, let's talk a little bit about the Arctic ecosystem now. Ecosystems are, uh, actually we'll be talking about more about Arctic food webs. So, in like all the other food webs, there are some basic construction of food web. For example, there should be a, so let us take a color, there should be the producers, uh, which are the basic level of the ecosystem, which are uh, the building blocks of the ecosystem because they produce food. So, if there is food, so these are producers, producers, they produce food. So, as they produce food, the food means it provides energy and energy is required in all the different biological activities. So, producers are obviously the highest and most important part of any food system. Now, in Arctic ecosystem, uh, there will be some differences in the animals that we see there and their behavior will be also different. Uh, unlike the desert ecosystem and also rainforest ecosystem we have seen. But uh, the basic structure of the food web remains the same. That means the producers, then the primary level consumers, and the secondary level consumers, then the tertiary level, and the highest predator level consumers. So that is how the whole process actually works. If you look at here, the primary level consumers are the geese and also lemmings, caribou. So, these are the primary level consumers who feed directly onto the plants, geese, lemmings and caribou, right, very easy. Now, owls can feed onto the lemmings, right, owls can feed onto and, 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 and also armines can also feed onto lemmings right jaggers are also there because jaggers are also secondary they belongs to the secondary predator so they will take geese they will take lemmings right and there is arctic fox they placed at the tertiary level consumer that the highest predator level consumer they will take geese they take kind of almost everything that is present there. They take lemmings there, right? And if you look at here, the top levels along with Arctic fox, there are red fox and wolves. And wolves, we all know, the highest level predators. They will take caribou because caribou are larger. Generally, owl uh, cannot take it, jigas cannot take it. Arctic fox sometimes uh, feed onto them, but they don't like them. But actually, caribou are the favorite prey of wolves. That's why Arctic foxes don't try to hunt caribou because if they want to hunt for the same food with wolf, they need to fight against the wolf, and that they do not want, uh, want those things. Instead, they take on to geese, they take on to lemmings, they take on to jaggers. So they take all of them, right? And uh, you know, red fox can feed on arctic foxes and wolf can feed on to red foxes. So, you can see ultimately the highest level predator here is the wolf, the highest level predator. They will feed on to red fox, they will feed on to caribou, red fox will feed on to arctic fox. So, you can see here there are different levels of organization, primary consumer, secondary consumers and then the finally tertiary consumer and actually tertiary consumers, they all are predators there. Now the most important concept about ecosystem is that we all individuals are connected somehow directly or indirectly. So if you take one of them down, it will ultimately lead to the hazardous effect to the ecosystem and the food wave ultimately falls. For example, if you take arctic fox out of the scene, as a result, jiggers population will rise, they will take more geese, so geese population will fall, lemming population will fall, if lemming population falls down, owl will not survive because they feed on to lemmings, our mines will not survive because they also feed on to lemmings. So you can see here, if we remove jiggers there, Right. So, if we, if we remake, re remove this lemmings from the place, it will ultimately reflect in, in the population of owls and our minds because the population of both of them will go down. And that is very, very important to understand because uh, 
all of them have a different types of food habit for example red fox wolf they also already food on to meat they are meat lovers they are herbivores they are herbivores right but uh, if you look at your lemmings geese caribou they are carnivores right so they feed on to the plants only they feed on and then the wolf red fox they feed on to uh, the meat so if we take all these lemmings and all those plant eating animals out of the scene then uh, who will be there to as be the intermediate part between the producer and the consumer there will be nothing like that as a result those wolf cannot directly take plant because they are not plant eating they are not carnivores they are herbivores right so as a result of that sorry actually i made some mistake uh, these are carn uh, wolf is carnivore and lemmings are herbivores because herbivores means plant eating so herbivores if, if you take this herbivores down carnivore population cannot stay for long because they de cannot directly eat plants so the population of wolf will ultimately go down so if each of every one of us are connected in the ecosystem and that's true that's true for all right 